So we've got some new tanks coming from, uh, they've come all the way from Germany and uh, this guy is trying to uh, get down this gap to go all the way down there to get our tanks in. So I might get Steve to help him out because Steve used to drive wagons. And then we've got another wagon doing deliveries down here and uh, it's all pretty crazy. So we'll see what we can do. Um, all good fun. So uh, for those that don't know, we ordered uh, some new tanks uh, from Germany that we've had before, um, which have been really, really good. Um, these ones, we ordered them, uh, I think it was last year, and uh, some of the parts come from Ukraine. So it's been a bit of a wait for them. And uh, there was some trouble with customs, and they were meant to be here last week. And uh, this morning I emailed our uh, person to say uh, when do you think they'll be coming and I literally got an email saying the latest will be tomorrow <laughs> and then 20 minutes later I've got this huge Scania that's rocked up but um, we've got a very awkward loading position because we have trucks and cars everywhere so um, and then just to make matters even harder <laughs> We've got scaffolding all up the front of the building, so uh, that's going to make it extra sketchy, but we'll see what happens. So uh, it's all very exciting though. So uh, here we go, we've got it all in. How are you feeling, Steve? Oh, I'm super excited. Still pretty excited. He's wanted these tanks for ages. Have you, have you moved that tank oh, yeah, out? It's been clean that's, the other um, you know, clean. You know that there was this tank that he wanted to move, but he's not moved. He delayed it all. So, uh, I'm treading on thin ice, I don't know if I'm saying anything. I'm not, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say anymore. Uh, yeah, he doesn't want, Steve doesn't like it when I interfere, do you, Steve? Not at all, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I'm very, very excited. So, this truck's come all the way from Germany. Um, via po well, it came from Poland, it's a Polish, Polish hall, yeah. And they've been really professional and really, really good. So check out these guys. If you want anything coming from Europe. Oh, look at that beautiful. <laughs> there they are. Wow. Got some tanks. Beautiful. Look at that. There. So these are all on DIN fittings as well. So we have little converters for them. Very exciting. Wow. Wow, this is right, let's uh It's gonna be fun trying to get these out. Right. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car, looking for some kind of open bar. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm. Having a good time and doing no harm. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. Honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Time to do it, no harm, it's gonna be alright. 
pretty exciting. So, we've got our new tanks and we got them into the brewery. So, uh, they're not as heavy as they, you would think they are. The only thing, Mike, I honestly think there's no, uh, they haven't given us the pressure gauges for the top. Mm. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah, these, uh, for the money, are incredible. Bang for buck, but they are covered in oil at the moment, which will need to all come off and be packed. But uh, what we do with them, we, um, we actually insulate them like this and put uh, jackets on them. And then, like, this this is uh, sleeper lager at the moment. It's been... Uh, it's going to be carbonated. Um, when does that go on for carbonation? Uh, this yeah, this Friday. So we've got some repairs to the floor to be made. This tank is being cleaned at the moment, and that is moving to over here. And then the other three tanks will be here. And then we'll have seven tanks. So anybody want to see our burglar at the Terrant? He's just there. He's wearing a fez. The kids climb on the scaffold and it scares the life out of them. So we're just CIP in the tank at the moment. So uh, let's go and see if this uh, pilot truck is going to manage to get out of our car park. So that's going to be pretty intense.
ourselves and uh, opened up the boxes. We've got lots of goodies, yeast plugs, sample taps. These are for CO pin. Not a design we've seen before, but we'll give them a go. And pressure valves, which are in here. And they gave us a spare seal, which we wanted. And that's in inside the tank. It's one of the beautiful beers made. So, uh, Mike, do you think it was as bad getting them in as we thought it might be? No. I was massively worried in the first place. You, it was you that was worried. I wasn't worried. I was asking you, and you were like, no, it never happened like that. Well, you were talking about using a pound. I was a I said lift it with a fork lift. Well, Steve's idea. <laughs> You're having me on. No, it went pretty smoothly, didn't it? Yeah. Okay. It's gone really well. I'm very happy with them. A um, couple of little things uh, are um, unusual about them, but I'm overall very, very happy. We've got a couple of little dents here and there, but to be expected coming all the way from Germany. So, yeah. Don't forget to buy your mini kegs online. Got loads of new mini kegs on there. And we've got two new beers coming out, which have been cast up and are in the cold room. We've got uh, Nighthawk and we also have um, B2 Bomber Black IPA. So uh, yeah, check them out. We uh, we need to do the descriptions and bits and more for them. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Exciting times.